Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where or when you're watching this. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene. Or should I be saying buongiorno a tutti? Uh, buongiorno, buonasera, buonanotte to all my paisans and bodies out there. It's Wednesday, and it's Italian Shave Day. Hey, it's, we made it to the middle of the week. Or as the camel would say, hump day! Yes, hump day, we made it. So, Italian Shave Day. What are we going to do today? Well, for our soap today, we're using Sapanavasino Veracino 70th Anniversary Edition, which is a, a nice citrus aquatic scent, something I, I would imagine. I haven't been to Italy yet, but uh, it's on my list. Uh, maybe on the coast, the Riviera coast or the, the Amalfi coast. Somewhere in there with a great aquatic and citrus scent, this, this soap. I'm going to use the matching splash. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Bottle. And I'm going to finish. I don't have the cologne for that, but I have something that kind of pairs well with it, at least from the scent notes, and that's from Barrett Pool Time. What we're going to be using and what are we going to be shaving with today well uh the guys over at canadian mafia put out a, a, a thing to use something that you don't normally use so i'm going to give the old focus r48 another whack it's been modified and fixed by bill m from over at the shaving cadre i've got a half persona Blade in there. They're made in the U.S. And I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do one, at least one pass with this. And this is something called the Magic Shavette. Um, Barbara Dave said he used one of these once. And he had a little mishap with it, if I remember correctly. These are made in Italy. I have a container for it. Handy? Yeah. Here it is. In case you doubt me. See? Made in Italy. So, I'm going to do at least one pass with this. I'm probably going to do the first pass with it just to give it a shot. See how it does. I've already taken care of two of the three S's. Put this out of the way. And we all know that hydration and slickness is very important when you're shaving a Especially when you're using a shavette or a, how do you call it, a straight razor. So I'm going to add a little bit of liquid lightning from Hazlitt's. Empty that out. Empty the dropper. Put that back in. Give it a little bit of a shake to shake up all the essential oils and stuff. I hope you're doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. And that you have a, a great week so far. And I've got a, a few drops in there. Mm. It's got a nice feel to it, nice slick. I put a question out over on Shave Dead the other day, yesterday, about lather with a, uh, when you're using a, a straight or shave that, whether it should be a thinner or a, a thicker lather. I want to get a little bit of the oil off my hands so things don't slip. And a lot of them said, you know, hydrate as much as you can. So I think I did that with this. I, I'm hoping it hydrated enough. We'll see what happens. Still using the distilled water. And I'm finding that 
and lathers are coming out a lot better. At least in my opinion. Your shaving experience may vary. Taking my granddaughter to school today because her mom and dad have a couple of things that they have to take care of this morning. They won't give them the opportunity to take take her to school. So I'm taking Lucy to school. So let's see what happens with this. Not, not terrible. Not so bad. Pretty good. Pretty good for a shave head. Did I catch my ear? Damn. I did. Hot dang. That's a first. Let's see how we do on this side. Do a little stretch. Just cut myself. Mm, that's twice, and that's enough. That's enough. When you catch yourself and you can feel it. real quick because that's gonna oh man what bath then <laughs> Dave you were right I think this is going to be a one pass and done. We're going to have to get the the next stick on this one. So keep that handy just in case. Let's go right back to the to the focus. It did catch my ear, dang it.
Oh, well, so much for the experiment with this razor. I'll have to give it another shot one of these days. Well, the, I can't blame anything but either me or the razor and the poor craftsman that blames his tools. So, of course, I'm just getting used to the tools, so you never know. Let's give it a rinse, see how long it shade wise. Not too terrible. I'm gonna go over it with the, the focus because it, it does need it. Yeah, I think that one on my lip's gonna need a little liquid bandage. Okay, so this is going to be two and done. I feel like Gene Simmons. Like I said, I'm taking Lucy to the to school today and then heading into the office. So anyway, we're still trying to figure a couple of things out at work with some of our servers. We've got most of it fixed. You know what? Just here, everything else feels pretty, pretty good. Just right there, a little there. That's where it needs it. So it's two and a half pass. I know I'm not pulling out that snake. There. 
much better. I don't like this. I didn't do one here, did I? Well, soap's got enough slickness I can get away with this. Okay, we're done. <coughs> Get the old elm block. We need it today. I can't believe I caught my ear. That's a first. Just as a reminder for some of you that may not know, September is Mental Health Awareness Month. And it's going to be a big release this weekend of uh, the Never Alone product that supports men's mental health. Just remember, guys, you're never alone. There's always somebody out there. Reach to me, reach to the phone numbers, you know, my contact information is available. You can always DM me on any of the social media if you need to talk about something. That's one of the things we do as, a de as deacons. We, we talk. We're not professionals. But we, we, we're there. We've got to show a little lean on if you need to. That. But uh, Saturday, uh, the Razor Company is going to be releasing the uh, Never Alone 3. Uh, they released the scent profile. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, that scent profile. Let's rid some of the alum block. Don't ingest the alum. There we go. Towel dry. Luca, towel toss. Here one, two, three. We're in. Okay. Let's get some aftershave on this. This is going to feel good. Oh, yeah. This is an alcohol product. Yeah, it is. Lots of oh, there's some greens in this in the in the in the aftershave, along with the the lemon and the aquatics. That's good stuff. I'm not gonna spray under the shirt. I am gonna put a little bit on my wrists. Where's the opening? There it is. I don't want to waste it on the shirt because I'm not wearing a t-shirt to work today. Ooh. Oh man. Pool time. Good stuff. Nice pairing. Good choice, Deacon. All right. So that's our shave for today. Uh, shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day. You might be doing something wrong. As always, be good to yourselves and to each other. Uh, join me on Friday for a who knows what. I think I'm going to use the Deacon's Razor. Take a look at my IG and my Facebook. You'll see what the Deacon's Razor is. Anyway, have a great day and smooth shaves. Ciao for now.